Hi, this is Deborah from Dinklefoot Scrapbooking, and this week I have a very simple birthday card to show you. So I have my brown card, and then I have several lengths of brown ribbon and a piece of pattern paper. And then I have three stars. This one's actually cut from the same paper as this, but um, these stars are about an inch and a half, and I just chose three different pattern papers that kind of go with this one. And so you can see I don't have a lot of pieces here, and this one is very simple and fast to put together. So I'm going to grab my longest piece of ribbon, and this one's actually just going to get some adhesive on the back here. And I'm going to wrap it around the top of this piece of paper here. I just didn't want it to um, be showing on th on the ends. I didn't want to cut this kind of ribbon off because it tends to fray. It's a satin ribbon, so I'm just going to place it right along the top of my paper here. And I'll just fold it right around the back. And this whole piece will go right on the bottom of my card. I just need to add the adhesive here. And I have those other two pieces of ribbon there, and I'm going to show you how to make a very simple bow that's not um, sticking up so much. It's more of a flat bow, and it's really simple. So first I'm going to put this right on the bottom of my card here. It up. There we go. Okay, so that's on there. Get that quite straight there, but that'll be okay. And then for my bow, I was going to tell you about, I'm going to take this piece of ribbon. This one's just a little shorter. I didn't really measure these out. I just kind of cut some off. And what I'm going to do is just fold these pieces in to the center. And I'll need some hot glue, so I'll need glue um, in between each of these layers just to keep them all down. So I'm just going to add just a dab of hot glue here, and then a dab on top of that, and fold this one in. So it doesn't matter, you can make it whatever size you want there. And if, it, if your ribbon's already fraying, you can just trim off those pieces. I've seen people take lighters and um, kind of burn the edges so that they don't fray out anymore, but I'm just going to keep mine that way. And then this centerpiece here, you can just fold it right around the middle. And you can, if you want to, you could actually tie this on the back. Just Just make a knot, just like your starting to tie a shoe. So I'm just going to tie this right around the center there. Try to get it in the center first. So I'm going to tie it tight first of all and then I'm going to loosen it up because I don't want my uh, bow to look um, too squished. I want it to have a flat look like this. I don't know why I keep getting on things. My kids were down here making valentines, and I have dried glue flakes everywhere down here. So, and glitter. I have lots of glitter, and it's everywhere. Everything's sparkling. But, so I have this flat in the center, and then I'm going to turn it over, and I'm going to put a little bit of hot glue underneath this because I don't want it to untie on me. So I'm going to just squeeze some in there. Just to keep everything put. And it doesn't matter what the back looked like. So if you get glue spread around in here, it's not a big deal. I'm going to stick some under there too. Because this whole thing's just going to get glued right down on my ribbon. So I'm not really concerned about the back too much. I just wanted to have a nice flat bow that I can put right against the ribbon on my card. So, i trim off these little frayed edges real quick here. 
And then I'm just going to put put dots of glue the length of this. And I'm just going to put this right down on that ribbon of my card. Right in the center. Okay. So a nice simple bow and I still have glitter and flakes of glue on my things so I'll have to brush those off later. But just a nice flatter bow instead of tying a poofy bow on your card. This one makes a nice flat one. And then to finish this card up I'm just going to put glue right on the back of my stars. Just stick these on wherever I want to on the front of the card there. There we go. That's the front of the card done. And then for the inside, I'm going to grab a little bit more of this paper and probably some cream paper to finish that off. So the finished inside of my card looks like this. I just cut that pattern paper and then a piece of plain paper and I stamped a greeting. And then just added another star die cut inside. And this card is finished. Thanks so much for watching.